This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Good to see you. I uh, look a little different tonight, but I'll tell you why once I get to our other caller. Uh, and I am in uh, still a great deal of pain. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Wait a minute. Let me just uh, let me bring in Phil Meyer here uh, because it's Phil Meyer night. I didn't think it was supposed to be Phil Meyer night tonight, but it turns out it was Phil Meyer night tonight. Uh, tell them why it's Phil Meyer night tonight. I thought, see, what you wrote was uh, the first and third of the month. You didn't say starting in April. Okay, uh, I'll give you that. Uh, I, I thought I was giving you due notice, and uh, you know that. Uh, mm. And I, you know, I understand the first and the third, but I, I have to say, on Monday you had a show. And uh, I thought that there was a really good, good opportunity to get you a job through it. Mm -hmm. So I uh, wanted to submit it to this advertising company mm -hmm. uh, for a commercial. Uh, help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Now shut up. But they said it was too realistic and they weren't interested. <laughs> yeah, it only appealed to old people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in case people are wondering, my wife beat me. Here, where, where is it? There it is. See that? Elder abuse. See that? But if you look really close, it's also black and blue. Look at that. Yeah. See? see Good this? thing you got 4K. See the, That's scary. See the black and blue there? Wow. You really took a tumble. I, I, was, walk, I was walking back from the grocery store with a, a bag full of groceries. Yeah. A light bag full of groceries, not a heavy bag full of groceries. I used to take heavy bags of groceries, but at my age, it's a light bag of groceries. And I was coming back, and I don't know, I guess I tumbled because of my sketchers catching on the pavement. Well, are, are you starting to shuffle now rather than uh, have a, a long gait that you... Uh, uh, that you walk? No, when I'm walking, I walk at a fairly decent, brisk pace. And you lift your feet? Yeah, most of the time, yeah. But wow. I don't know. There might have, I didn't look back, but there might have been like a little rise in the in the pavement or something like that. And I started stumbling, and I couldn't stop myself from stumbling, and I fell flat on my face. Well, that is a very dangerous thing, especially as we get older. Mm -hmm. because yeah, I, the, real, I realize that. I was told that by Marjorie. As we get older, expect more tumbles, she said. Well, expect it's more. not a matter yeah. of just expecting tumbles. You have to walk with intention so that you lift your feet. Because when, as we get older, our IT bands shrink and we start to shuffle a bit. And any cracks in the sidewalk, things like that, tend to uh we tend to trip over them mm -hmm. and uh, the consequence is that you break a hip and then it's downhill and you certainly don't want to do that not with commercials like i've fallen and i can't get up available on, in the marketplace yeah well i um um that wasn't the worst of it this isn't the worst of it see, un uh, underneath you lost here. It. see underneath yeah. here it also it, cut, it yeah. hit my tooth but my nothing oh. went bad with my tooth at all they t well, originally the first people helped pick me up said i think you lost a tooth and then it turned out it was my earplug was my oh ear, well ear uh, did you lose the groceries no they fell down around the floor but i got them and i took them you know, yeah but anyway that was not the worst of it the worst of it is still i have and it's great pain it's this now you can't yeah. really see it uh but here if i look at it it's actually getting black and blue um, wow I fell and I, you know, pre prevented myself from falling, okay? Uh, well, and and I uh, uh, I hit my hand 
and now my whole hand hurts so much I can't bring these two fingers together very well. It hurts too much. Well, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I can bring my fingers together. It's like playing the smallest violin in the yeah. world. Well, this but, is uh, also my favorite hand, too. So, you know. Well, you're going to have to learn to do it lefty. But yeah. what I'm uh, thinking is that you were lucky. I mean, there are better ways to fall than palm down. But as long as you did, that could have been. What's a better way worse. of falling down? I'm trying to prevent well, myself from hitting the ground. Yeah, I understand. But there, there's ways, you know, like when you took, I took judo as a third grader and mm -hmm. they teach you how to fall. Mm -hmm. And it's helped me over the years. But yeah. with um, falling, if you didn't break your fall with your hand, your uh, lip could have been much worse. Mm. So anyway, I, so I, I figure I figure I can make this look better. Hey, man, hold on a second. There we go. Here we go. Let me see here if I can. If I can, if I can do this, I, I got to do this in the mirror here. Try a Band-Aid. Huh? <laughs> no, no, I guess it's not going to cover it up. I guess it's not going to cover. Is that well, it, it's covered it a bit. Now, now it just looks like you're the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh, I'm melting. I'm melting. <laughs> You know, but I mean, I don't. Uh, I, I'm don't know. I'm really glad that you you weren't hurt uh, any more than you were. I mean, look what happened to Marjorie when she fell. Well, well actually, somebody pushed pushed her. Yeah, pushed yeah. her. Uh, here, yeah. this is this over. There we go. Yeah. Now we get that there. See, we do that, and then we oh, I've got to put this back in this case here. Huh, let me see. All right. Hey, you're you're uh, always prepared. What? Wait a minute. The show must go on. I guess the show must go on. There we go. Now I put that there, and then I put that. Oh no, I put that on top of there. I I don't know how to do these things because I don't. You know, girls know how to do this. Yeah. We don't know how to do it as guys. Now let me see here. Yeah. Got a little bit of rouge, a little mm -hmm. lipstick. A little, <laughs> <laughs> but you see that doesn't look good that good either. Yeah, well, wait a minute. Uh, it's it's good enough. Hmm? It's good enough for Wednesdays on Gabnet. Yeah, well, it's our it's the best we can do for makeup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, hey, well, maybe you should get a Patreon account so people can donate to your makeup and healing fund. You probably should donate to my n not being able to walk very well here now. You know, I mean, this is this is my hand is killing me, just killing yeah. me. Well, and, and somebody said, well, you should go have an X-ray, and I went, well, I don't think it needs an X-ray. That, yeah. uh, that I think I can, I can. But, uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, uh, all you need is more aggravation. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, I have one of these carts it's they fold but uh they're sort of cavernous and sometimes you put laundry in it and you take it down to the laundry room mm -hmm. because yeah. i'm in a yeah. uh, multi-level apartment building with a general shared laundry mm -hmm. which i hate mm -hmm. but uh if you had one of those when you went uh grocery shopping uh you could push it you could hang on to it uh and it doesn't look like a walker and you put your groceries in it and give you a little well, more. Well, sometimes we do take them, but we yeah. I didn't need enough. I wasn't picking up enough that I needed to do that, you know. So, well, uh, that's that, that was the way of the store punishing you for not buying your fair share. But anyway, I try to bring my fingers together. If I try to pick up a cup here, it's a bit painful. Yeah, you know. Uh, but, well, I, I'm sorry you fell. Uh, it, it, it. There was a good joke in it, but. Uh, <laughs> you know, what am I going to do? Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, the reason I have this background is this looks like something that Putin would have. And, uh, you know, it, it, he would have this kind of palace, don't you? You know, the you look at the Russian buildings in Moscow and and uh, they're very colorful and yeah, they're very the, ornate. The, the, the Russian, his background is somewhat ornate, but not really, you know. So. Yeah. Well, he he kills people in a very ornate way. He was taught the KGB way. And yeah. You know, yeah. When he's going to poison somebody. Did you hear, see, hear about that model 
uh, that spoke out against Putin and they found her body cut up and in a uh, piece of luggage. Yeah, but they say her boyfriend did it. Well, it was her boyfriend Putin? Probably. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Oh, God bless it. And also, my, my cream sinks to the bottom of my cup. Wow. Well, Boy, well, I just got everything with me is wrong. Sinking yeah, I, you cream. Know, I, don't, I don't know. Sinking cream, cream at the bottom of the cup. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I thought I was your cream, the cream in your coffee. You know. Oh boy. <laughs> and then I didn't bring my. Oh, I didn't. I didn't bring. I didn't bring my uh, my soda in in case I needed. Hold on a second. Talk to the people out there. All right. While I go get my soda. All right, hey. people. How how many people think that this war in Ukraine is real? All right, now I'm going to ask Alex what he what he thinks of this. You know, just just like I have uh, the Palace of Versailles behind me, maybe the war is being f uh, fought as a CGI movie, and it's all in an attempt to cover up the Democrats do nothing Congress. So they see they they look like they're coming together. They look like they, uh, oh, Alex, you, you got your ice. Um, I've been entertaining the people. And, mm. oh, okay, you got your ears on? Go. Sorry, yeah. everybody. I just wanted to get my soda. Well, Wait, I've been entertaining the people while you, you were gone. And there I've come go. up with an idea. What? My idea is that what's going on in Ukraine is a, is a cover-up. It's really a CGI movie mm -hmm. to that Putin is staging mm -hmm. to see what the West's reaction would be if he were to attack Ukraine. By the way, folks, he's saying this is a joke, okay? I just want well, to say that. think well, about it. Well, because some of the things you say are so outrageous that they don't, they aren't jokes, but this is a joke. Yeah, it, it, it could be a joke. Yeah. Uh, you know, think, think about this. Uh, if he wanted to test the waters to see if the... Uh, the U.S. and the West would be would not have a reaction to his invasion. Mm -hmm. What if he staged the invasion on TV? He controls the media. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, he's uh, what, what if he just used CGI and all of those people that are crying in Ukraine are really actors and actresses that were you know, hired at union scale yeah. uh, to uh, to to make it seem as if there's a war and that yeah. people are suffering. But really, there's no war and no one's suffering. Yeah. But somebody just wrote and said, uh, if your hand didn't swell up, maybe you didn't break any bones. Well, it's swo swo it's it's swo a little swollen. You can see that yeah. it's red, but it's not well, terribly swollen. You're probably bruised. Uh, oh, oh I'm, uh, I'm sure I'm bruised. That's for damn sure. Yeah. You know. So then uh, I put this stuff on there. Oh, does that work? Yeah, it worked when I had uh, a, a torn uh, meniscus, but it does. It doesn't seem to be working for this that much. Oh, so you put a little line of it on there, and then you. I, yeah, I rub see it that in. advertised Voltaren. Uh, they have some odd commercials. This with used this to guy be. This used, well, this used, I had to get this by prescription. This one. Really? Yeah, and now it's not prescription, but they yeah. still charge as much for it as they did. Same the strength. Uh, same strength. Yeah. 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 Now you see their commercials. Yeah. You could do those much better than the guy that's dancing like uh, Elaine from Seinfeld. Well, I could. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm putting it on there. So we'll, well, see. we'll see. Well, that's the that application. Uh, so you use this grease for a number of a number of things. Huh? Yeah. The, the, the grease, the Volterran. Yeah. Does does it I, well, also I did work? I originally got it because I had uh, a, a torn meniscus. Yeah. And so I started rubbing it down there, and it seemed to really help. This doesn't seem to help that much. Yeah. You know, it seems like I really, I really tore up my hand. Uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, there, there are some things that numb uh, the skin a little bit. Well, um, this is. I'm, I don't need a skin number. I need something that will like completely deaden the pain. You know, yeah. but I, you know, I can't, it's like, I can't, I, I, today, today I can move my fingers a little bit together like that. A couple of days ago, if I did that, I'd be screaming. 
Well, I'm I'm wondering whether you should go uh, and get it x-rayed and maybe I, I, I'm not sure if this is the fix for it, but could they use uh, an injection of cortisone to uh... I don't think so. You know, I mean, I get it. What happens is I have arthritis here and I get cortisone yeah. here. Uh, this seems to have exacerbated the arthritis or something. I don't know. I'll wait and see a couple of weeks and then I'll go to the. You know. Uh, you know, maybe they can do something right away. Have you been using this stuff? Uh, this is no, the. That was, is, I, you would hear me screaming. Really? Yeah, you would hear me screaming. It, it doesn't help with the arthritis? Uh, it, it helps a little bit with the arthritis, yeah. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Welcome well, once again to the hospital here at uh, the Alex Bennett Ramble. Right. Well, it, it, uh, the waiting room. The waiting room. God's waiting room. That's what right. we should call this show. I think I'll rename well. it God's waiting room. <laughs> you know. Uh, the yeah. Lord will see you now. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, uh, instead of uh, the ramble, it's the prescription. You know, I still say your name in a prayer every night. Uh, that I won't call? No, I've had, <laughs> no I've, I've had a tradition in my life where I've had a little prayer I say every night. Yishkadal, Yishkadal. No, no, it's not in it's not in Hebrew. <laughs> well, isn't that the prayer when someone's passed away? And uh, uh, no, I can't remember what it was. But yeah. anyway, anyway, but you're in that prayer because when really, you, when you had the prostate cancer, I threw you into the prayer. Okay. Wow. But I'm thinking of throwing you out of the prayer because you seem to be okay. Well, I feel okay. Uh, you know, uh, between uh, getting Rolfed, which is uh, uh, a 1970s thing. We're not that, talking about that. We're talking about your prostate cancer. Well, I haven't had it tested lately, but I've got other stuff How going long on. ago were you supposed to get it tested? Uh, now, uh, probably now. So it's been almost six months. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, the last couple of times, there was no uh, no cancer uh, present. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I've got other stuff going on now. Well, should I, got, I keep you in the prayer for the time being? Or, or well, you, well, if, well, if, well if, enough. You know what they call an old Jew like me is a pisher, you know, because uh, now I'm having urinary issues. So um, I'm having urinary issues, too. I have that stinging thing going on. But I think that's I think that's. Uh, your arthritis. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. don't they give you Cipro for that or something? I think so. I'm seeing my doctor in another couple, about a week from Monday, next Monday, and he's going to do the, uh, you know, the blood test, and then he's, I'll tell him about that, and I'm sure he'll say it's something that, you know, here, try, try, try the Cipro for a while, see if it goes yeah. away. You know, you know, I I called my uh, uh, my. Um, uh, urologist. Boy, this is really talk that will get yeah. the young people listening well, to us. You know, well, the young people are, should know that they're lucky when they don't have these kinds of things because one day they will. We were up and to twenty-eight I people then. Yeah, we're up to we were up to twenty-eight people. Now we're down to twenty-four. Yeah, that's because they had to go pee. <laughs> oh, now we're <laughs> up to twenty-five. Everybody, yeah, call your friends, okay? <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's not bad for the first half hour, you know. Uh, uh, Charlie gave us a death watch. Uh, he's he's doing the totals now. It's not the not the weekly uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. counting the amount. It's so. Did, uh, you, did you see what's his name today? Oh, by the way, I also ache here, here, and uh, I think uh, a couple other places too. So did the lens so here on my side. My side. <laughs> Yeah, well, who did I see today? Oh, did you see Walensky today? Yes, yes. What did you uh, think? Well, I tell you, he's he's a, you know, I think the guy speaks eight languages, mm -hmm. and uh, he he really. Um, uh, I think he speaks but, four actually. Really? Yeah. But he he was able to rally Congress, and uh, you know, this is this is one of the first time in years that. People have agreed with one another. Although I'm, I'm wondering whether this uh, this deal with uh, Ukraine is a CGI. Uh, oh come thing. on, just stop! And, and it's just to cover up Biden's low numbers. Because you know, you figure if you're a wartime president, 
uh, look, some people even say that the moon landing was uh, was staged in a soundstage. All right. You know, come on. One small step for mankind. You know, nah, the guy was in Hollywood. Who wrote that line? Actually, uh, that line was written by somebody very famous, as I remember. Yeah. Quentin yeah. Tarantino. No, 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 no. It was written by a, uh, a poet yeah. uh, who uh, wrote it for NASA. And he, but he, he said it wrong. Oh, really? Yeah, it was one small step for... For man. Well, but he said for man, but it's supposed to be for a man. Oh. One and, giant step for mankind. Right. Now, they, that would be considered said, woke. Now, they couldn't use that term Phil, today. Phil, I'm trying right? to have a serious discussion here. <laughs> All right. It's, it, you know, it just, it just you know, it came about that, you know... What oh, was that? Well... Is your is my oh my eggs are ready. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> Do you have an egg timer? What was that ding? Where does that ding come from? Uh, I don't know. I heard a uh, a buzz. Hmm? Did you leave the door open to your refrigerator? No, no. All no. right. Then I, I wonder what that ding was. It must didn't come off my watch, did it? No, I don't think so. Anyway, where was I? Oh, we, we were uh, I had referred to the NASA statement as being woke. Here it is 50 years later and uh, it's 50 years, 68, yeah. no, 52, 54, something like that. And that statement would have been um, uh, jumped on by the well, fall. You know, OK, if we're talking about all of humanity, by the way, the middle part of human is man or half of human. Not anymore. Man. You person, <laughs> you know, I mean, humanity, uh, I'd say, what do you call it? You call it mankind, right? Right. That's what I would do. Person kind I also, sounds, sounds really I also stupid. order out chinks, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, but person kind, you know? Yeah. Yeah, come on. What for that? Anyway, no, but I, um, I just, um, uh, I don't know. I thought, I thought the speech was a good speech. You know, Excellent speech. Uh, we didn't applaud him as long as the Canadians did, but they, then again, why? We're assholes. No. Sec secondly, I figure that all the things that Biden is doing, yeah, don't amount to shit. Okay. Well, I mean, of. really, to be very honest with you, uh, we need to teach Putin a lesson. This is, somebody mentioned today, and you know, you say, well, we can't go in there because uh, NATO can't no go fly, in there. Yeah. You, know, you know, no fly zone, way to, then you have to, you know, what we can do is give them the weapons that are sufficient, then make it a no fly zone and let them shoot down the planes. That's, that's true. It, it, now, I understood that Biden had just okayed one billion in weapons. No. And uh, uh, that. Nowhere near that. Well, uh, yeah, I, I heard it today on Fox. They said well, one billion. No, it isn't one billion. It was something and, like uh, a half of. A, a are they going to give them the drones too? Million. They're going to give them some drones. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, if you make it a no-fly zone and then let them enforce it and give them the equipment to enforce it with, that might make sense. The other thing is that we can't let Putin get away with this. this and somebody mentioned something very interesting that we keep quoting yeah. that, oh, we can't go in there because it isn't a NATO country and blah, 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 and we're not empowered to do it. Yes, we are, by the Geneva Conventions. Yeah. Which talk yeah, about, about women, crime, crimes, children. crimes against humanity. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we could invoke the Geneva Conventions. But, you know, I, I think... Uh, 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 you know, uh, Biden is a pussy. On the other hand, if we had Trump in office, he wouldn't be doing anything. Uh, well, Trump sets, uh, sent him and okayed a lot of the military aid that uh, had been sent over there because when uh, 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 Obama was president, he didn't send military aid. He sent blankets. And, uh, and, and Trump had okayed a lot of that stuff, and Biden delayed uh, the future, the shipments that were under his tenure, Biden delayed those shipments. Now, they've recently, in the last couple of weeks, opened it up. But what most of those Congress people are saying is this aid should have taken place three months ago. 
and we wouldn't be talking about whether we'd be entering a nuclear a nuclear war with uh, or World War Three. But if we would have sent them this armament three mm -hmm. months ago, mm -hmm. prior to the invasion, th there would have been no discussion as to whether we were provoking uh, Putin. Right. Well, I don't necessarily agree with that assumption. I think that. Uh, uh, the, as we saw this thing coming along, we should have told, I think we did, he did tell Putin, you better not do this, or oh, you're going to have some hell. You better problems. not do this. No, no, but or you're going to have some great big sanctions against you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, look, said he didn't care. And well, now he does care. He does care because what it's doing is it's affecting the oligarchs. And the only reason he stays in power is because the oligarchs say that he can well, that one oligarch, Abramson, yeah. he uh, he went to Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's lost just about everything, and they even got his plane back uh, in in uh, Russia, uh, and uh, he, he's in Israel now. But the the thing about uh, the Putin and uh, these sanctions is that the Chinese are continuing to trade and to support Putin's efforts. And uh, what we need they're to do is not supporting Putin's efforts. They are still trading with Putin, but they're also buying. Uh, they're, instead of trading in dollars, they're going to trade in. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Yuan. Why you? Wands. Wands. Yeah. Uh, uh, and also, they're talking to the Saudi Arabians about using yuan as the denomination rather than dollars. And uh, the, so all, all he has to do to escape the money problem that way is to just do Bitcoin and he's home safe, you know, you know, I, I except he's Bitcoin, investing in Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know, you but, know I, I, I don't know. about. But hey, if, if criminals use Bitcoin, if drug dealers use Bitcoin, then why can't the Soviet? Why can't uh, Russia? Well, the criminals were doing it before it was common knowledge and mainstream mm -hmm. now that it's more mainstream yeah. uh, the government is cracking down on that stuff but i still think that that the oligarchs are feeling it their yachts are being confiscated their uh, whole homes are being confiscated in foreign countries and uh, they are not happy with what he's doing and no. uh, it's only a matter of time before the oligarchs say you're through you know you're finished you're toast we got to get somebody else in here well, you, you, uh, you, screw, you screwed a good deal for all of us. I think that once the people find out what's going on, he can only keep this a secret so long. Unless, of course, he's just going to next week say, oh, it was all a joke. It was CGI. I, I was just playing, <laughs> you know. But uh, I doubt that it was a joke. And well, I they, doubt say, that they say he needs an easy way out. And he doesn't have an easy way out. No, I, I think you know? the only way he's getting out is the way Hitler got out. Let me let some people come in here, okay? Let's do All right. this, okay? Let's admit some other people. Uh, here they come. See? There they go. There's uh, Alan, and there's uh, Jeff, and there's uh, uh, Charlie. Okay? Ah, so, the usual I suspects. Sent, I sent you this, Bill and Alex. If you get this stuff, you can put it on your hands, Alex. It's it's like um, Motrin in a cream, and it feel and it works great. What do you hmm. think? What do you think this stuff is? I sent it to what you, you both think, in a text. What do you think this stuff is? Oh, it's the same stuff. Volterra. Yeah, it's very close. It's a, I it's a it's a NSAID in a in a cream, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the same stuff. Different. Yeah. different okay. Does and that help? Where do you put it? Up my ass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're over seventy, or or live in or or you live in Walnut Creek, yeah, in your ass. It's supposed to rub it into your hands, and it's supposed to make the uh, pain go away. Yeah, well, it doesn't. <laughs> you know, you know, Phil. I I, I, I like your. CGI he didn't hear thing. that part of it. It did. Do, doesn't. Okay. <laughs> I like your CGI thing. So oh I, I think Trump's presidency was CGI, computer, gui computer guided idiot. 
Well, okay, he, hi, Charlie. Yeah, who's got oh, Volterra? Right, everybody's go. got this stuff. Here, here we go. You got it. I got it. Uh, everybody's got, got it. it. We can. We see Agreed that. Things. Oh, guess who's home? Is Jeff's home? That's right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I am in the United States. Yeah, no, you, you weren't out of the United States. <laughs> anyway, oh boy, I'm tired. Yeah, you were in the free state of Florida and Georgia. That's I'm right. tired tonight too, on top of everything. But this this thing has kind of made me feel really lethargic because it's like my bones are aching and ah. Uh, Yes, Charlie. Um, the problem with the CGI theory is that there are at least three journalists who have been killed in this war. That's not CGI. They were in it for the two ratings. Two million people, two million people have ex exited the Ukraine during this war. That's Look, Charlie, CGI. Charlie, if you got money, you can travel. So... You know, think about it. Hey, Phil, good Phil, thing, Phil, good you know, thing, Charles, you know, let, me, let me say something here, Phil. Yeah. This is not funny. This no. is really not funny. These people are truly suffering at the hands of an autocrat. Of thousands are okay? dead. So yeah. it's not funny. You know. soldiers are dead. Hey, you're not supposed to take it seriously. You no, know? Well, no but, uh, but, but we have to take that seriously, and, and you can't make jokes about something that serious. Can I be honest yeah. about that? Except well, the, okay, the, the three I stole the joke. I stole the joke. The true joke was two old Jewish ladies talking about the space travel, and one of them says, did you hear White and McDivitt went around the world 164 times? And the other lady says, well, if you got money, you can travel. That's the joke. I, I don't know if I find any of this Even funny. Even Charlie didn't find that funny. You know, I mean, what's going on in the Ukraine is just a crime against humanity. You know, the, oh, absolutely. Of the three journalists that got killed, three. at least they're <laughs> aiming at the people wearing Fox. And by the way, as long as you mention Two of them are Fox. Wasn't, wasn't that slavery hilarious? Oh, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and uh, uh, you know. I mean, come on, you know, you can, there's something. You all just right, can't all make right. Fun of. You don't you want, you, you know, you don't want to make. No, listen, uh, I'm the first one to say, you know, let's not make everything so woke that you can't make fun of it. But this well, is something that you don't make fun of out of respect to the people who are suffering. Yeah, it. you know, it's a it's a funny thing that um, a lot of times when you have horror and and terrible horror. things going. On, no, I horror. know what you're going to say, and it doesn't apply here. Well, uh, you know, people, uh, what you're going to say, it. what I often said was one of the great human abilities is the ability to laugh in the in the face of uh, terror horror. and right. horror. But, and that's why we joke about some things when they're See, so horrible. <laughs> right. Yes. You know, See but, my paycheck. For yeah, but that's in this awesome. case, that doesn't apply. It all right. So apply. it's only it's, fault that this is going on. There we is, all know it. The only guy who has ever come up with a joke about Ukraine is you. He made a joke about Ukraine? I missed it. Yep. Alex, I have to say something. Yeah. Your greatest creation so far, me listening to, is Phil. I find so much enjoyment out of this. I think he's funny. I don't know what it is. You, I didn't create a please, please, don't throw that on me, because then but, I'm going to get all kinds of complaints. Yeah. I never created him. I think you he know, he's like Brian Frankenstein. Uh, no, Alex, Alex is able to shape everything he does. Uh, mm -hmm. For the little short time that I helped him out at KMEL, he said, well, I'm going to make you this kind of character, but you're not going to be attractive to women. He says, I'm not, I'm not going to you know, uh, make it so that women will want you. And, uh, and he, he didn't have to make it. He, it came naturally, but... <laughs> Uh, you know he's able. He's able to craft every every move, every little play doh. <laughs> yeah, everything that he he's does, like, mm -hmm. he you knows. Know, you know, you know, Phil. I heard when you helped him at Cameo, you got his coffee for him. Really? That was about what he yeah. did. Yeah. You, you I, didn't I want to get free records. That's you didn't want to drink the Cameo coffee. Uh, that coffee was the worst. No, actually, right? I got to tell you, when I was working at Cameo, that's when I first started drinking coffee. Yeah, I never drank coffee before that, and I just no. went. If I'm going to do this shit every morning, at, you know, at at, uh, at six o'clock in the morning, I'm going to get, I'm going to have something in me to fuel me up, and that was before I found cocaine. 
Yeah. How did you stay up at night doing the overnight hours? Did you sleep during the day? And then was it hard to stay up all night? I would uh, I would get off at five o'clock in in the morning, and then I would go home and I would go to sleep okay. around nine, and uh-huh. sleep until about four or five. Oh wow! So you were able to sleep in the afternoon? Then. Yeah, and wow. then I would uh, I'd uh, get up and you know go do my show. The show was my my end of the day. You know? I see. Yes, yeah, so it was kind of reversed. Were you tired over the weekend, Alex, or Saturday you were like you could go to sleep in the regular? Or it didn't matter. No, I just kept the same mm-hmm. schedule. You know, okay. I stayed up did very you, late. Did you do the coke during the show or before oh. the show? No. During the show. During the show, okay. You know, the, and I, what I remember, that I used to, we used to get phone calls at uh, like four in the morning to wake up to be ready for the show. Was that the jock's job before you? Yeah, the, the jock's job before me was to call me and wake me up, yeah. Well, they called me make, too. Make sure I was awake. Yeah, yeah. and you, you know. Yeah. yeah. And, and then uh, you'd come, you'd pick me up, and uh, we, we'd go. Mm-hmm. And you were still in Sausalito. That's right. So you got the Coke since Phil was a cop. He must have provided the Coke. Not at that time. <laughs> I, was not, I was not a cop at that time. Well, on the way to it work, was... we would bust somebody. That's right. <laughs> I was non-denominational. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Sure you were. Yeah. That meant many would take quarters as well as pennies. So, right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. What I, was the name of that lady who uh, used to go up before you in New York, and then she didn't show to work? Oh, there you're, you're talking about uh, Lynn Samuels. Lynn Samuels. Uh, Lynn Samuels. Yeah, she went on, I think, after me, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. She was supposed to. She was supposed to. Yeah. One day, when she was working, they moved her to weekends, and she would do her show from home on weekends, and one. Weekend night morning, uh, they uh, pushed the button and there was nobody there. And this they didn't has happened know... to you a few times. What you you found one guy laying on the floor, Murray Decay. No, no, right? no, no, no. Oh, really? No, 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 that. no, no. That story is that I was coming to work on Saturday because I would do a show every Saturday night at ten o'clock, yeah. and I would come in around eight. And as I was coming in, they were rolling Murray the K out on a litter because he had passed out in the studio. And so I ran in and took over his show. So I'm the guy who replaced Murray the K when he, on his last, that was his last night in New York radio. Was that his last night alive? No. <laughs> no. no, it wasn't. But, you know, I think he then went to Washington, D.C. or something like that. But. Yeah, oh, Tony, did you get a package? Oh, 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 I'm trying to lift. I'm trying to lift my coffee, and I can't do it. I know what I'll do. I'll keep the coffee right in front of me where I can spill it. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Oh, tastes good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh man, I am. I I really. I took a tumble, folks. Yeah. You know. It really. Oh, you uh, practice the line. Maybe I can still get you that spot. Well, I mean, I've fallen down and I can't get up. That's it. All right. Now I just got to clip that out of the audio and send it off to yeah. the advertisers. Alex, you just got to learn to tuck and roll. Hmm. That's what I do when I fall. I fall all the time. I hate you when you're trying to do that when you're falling backwards, though. Tuck what do you and think roll. He wants, he's driving a low rider? No, it sounds, it sounds like something you do when you want to hide your penis. <laughs> yeah. uh, you get heavy yeah. enough. Yeah. Wait a minute. Now, what what have you got there, Tony? This is going to be for tomorrow night's basketball game. Tony will be watching like a what is it? You know, he's spoiling me. Seattle. Yeah. Thank you very are much. You, I message, are you I would have sent him. Are you sending him coffee? <laughs> are you sending him coffee, <laughs> Alan? It's been a month. basketball friend deal. Like what? Uh, lift it up so everybody can see what oh. I said. This it's is very nice. Out. He's sending me like a nice delicacy. When I visit, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Very it. vanilla. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the I, vanilla taste. I'll just add a little bit of my creamer in it. I think. Oh, thank you. Well, try it. Try it without anything first. It might be really good. Alex is Don't using you heavy cream. Coffee black. Uh, hey, wait a minute. Alex has been using heavy cream because he says his cream went to the bottom of the cup. Yeah. Really? Well, so, this is a cream. This cream has gone to the bottom of the cup. You sure it didn't spoil it? Yeah. I got the joke. Well, 
<laughs> what? I, I should use heavy cream? I have, I have heavy it. cream in my. I'm going to put that in my oatmeal tomorrow. I think heavy cream and oatmeal. I figured that. You've had some coffee time. tonight, haven't you? A little bit. Yeah. 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 yeah a little bit. <laughs> the stuff I've sent him this time and last time is decaf. I'm hoping to get. Oh, a he doesn't time. know it. He doesn't uh, know it. Yeah. And maybe he doesn't know it. What did you send him this time? What's decaf. It? Seattle's that? best. Very <laughs> vanilla decaf. I said decaf. Oh, don't tell him. I'm not. <laughs> you, I think you get a buzz off the decaf. Yeah, placebo. Sure yeah, yeah. Placebo, placebo. buzz. Well, not there's actually static. still a little caffeine left in it, but not enough to yeah. make you get a buzz. Well, maybe it for Tony yeah. it is. I don't. Hey, know. is anybody else going to call tonight? Is this it? You know, is it, it's nobody a, really calls and fills on. Nah. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm having white tea tonight. I, I got I got my two thousand dollar medicine this week. I haven't started it yet, but what is it? Uh, it's called Zyfactin. Oh, Zyfaxin? The... Yeah. That shit. That fucking motherfucking cocksucking company. Yeah. May I tell you about Zyfaxin? I, oh, I took it. What are you taking it for? SIBO. Uh, small intestines. Uh, bacterial overgrowth, and they charge, and, and you paid, paid the it, full two thousand for it, right? Because you're no, I paid five ninety two, five hundred and ninety two dollars. Yeah. It's here's what happened. Here, here's what happened. Wait a minute. Let me. Let me that let was me you know because of Medicare. I paid five ninety. It was two thousand, and they paid the other part. Well, here's what happened. I had my insurance company to begin with. Medicare wouldn't cover it. Okay, and then uh, I went to my uh, my uh, insurance company, and they wouldn't cover it either. And it was the one thing it was for my IBS, and it's it kind of helped my IBS. It worked, you know. But then uh, I went to I got another prescription, and I went to the uh, pres the pharmacy, and they said, "You know how much this costs?" And I said, "No." And they said, "Let us write it down for you." And they yeah. wrote it down. It said two thousand fifty dollars or something like right. that. And I went, "Oh my God!" And he said, "Your insurance won't ha won't take care of it, and neither will Medicare." And I when went, I, "Wait, but let me finish. Let me yeah. finish the story." And so, my doctor finally did something. So he got me a free uh, uh, sixty. Uh, well, uh, I, I got I know, got a, no, a treat. Let me finish for you. the story. I love this. Okay, go ahead, finish. No, finish it for me, Phil. All right. <laughs> My nutritionist said, okay. just get the prescription. There's a pharmacy in, in Canada, and instead of getting 28 pills, you get 100 pills for $150. Zyfaxin. Oh, is it good? It's called Zyfaxin. Zyfaxin. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I uh, so I got these pills. The, the company uh, said, "Oh, we'll give you we'll give you uh, sixty of them," which was it for meat, uh, uh, two thirty day supplies, uh, or no, the sixty. What was it? I can't remember. I was taking three a day. Yeah, yeah. That was I, I have to take like three that. times oh. a day for fourteen and, days. Anyway, I had I had enough for two two different runs on it. Oh, for fifteen days. That's it. So anyway, so I would. I, uh, I I said, this is ridiculous, you know, that any company would charge this for a drug. So um, I then decided, what the hell, and I started taking uh, probiotics, just for the hell of it. I started taking these little probiotic yeah, gummies that said, hey, this will be good for your stomach. Yeah. And my, P my, uh, my uh, what do you call it, my IBS went away. Yeah, mine too. It completely disappeared. Probiotics. So you know, you know, rather you know, than spend that, that money, I would use probiotics. I've got something else going on besides IBS. So that's that's why I have to have. It. Well, you're going to have explosive diarrhea when you take that stuff. So that's really? okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hello to Brian Neary, by the way. And let me just say thank you, Brian, first of all, for the cap. Well, How come that uh, doesn't say Cepheid on it? It does. It's the three yeah. white. It's, you know, it's the logo. It, it, you know what I like it has about the, the cap, Brian, is it's not crushed like this. And he usually wears the crushed crushed caps. It's nice and straight. Looks good. Well, it's going to get crushed as I wear it, you know. But wait it a minute. Looks then good. Looks good, Alex. he sent me this. 
Oh, oh. I love oh. you. Wait, 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 wait. Clear that up. Mm. I, didn't draw, I didn't draw that. I didn't draw that for Al. Right? Mm, well, you did. like your work, Brian. <laughs> no? CGI. CGI. <laughs> this definitely is, looks like your, your hand. This was sent to me by, it was drawn for me, specifically for me, obviously, because this is I love you, Alex. Uh, I'm planning on marrying her, by the way. Yeah. Uh, you want to put that on your uh, green screen, Alex? I, I, I love. Oh. I love you, Alex, and it's uh, it's a very nice picture. And then, that wasn't the only thing she sent me. Mm. Okay, she thought enough of me to do something oh, okay. secondarily. Oh, She's in the oh, so Let me show. This. I got to put this down here. Okay. Oh God. Yeah. I, and, and and I had to warn you about the rock because <laughs> well this was a rock she made up <laughs> look at that wait a minute hold on yeah oh, oh yeah very nice yeah. see and, and I can I, and I can use that as well, a paperweight warning. as a paperweight I had to warn him that there was a rock in there because I didn't want him to you know open it up and that thing just drop or something you know so I had I wanted to warn right him. on his toe <laughs> so I guess yeah. what really happened. Is he opened it up, the rock hit his toe, and then he slipped on the rock. <laughs> yeah, we went we went to our friend's uh, Rod Powell's house. He's a he's a very, very famous customizer. Mm -hmm. And so she she said, Daddy, can I get a rock? And so she got mm -hmm. two rocks and she she wanted to do one up for Alex and she did one up for my other friend. So hey, what's yeah. his what's his he's name? What's his name? My friend Ronnie, yeah. Oh Ronnie? So, oh so she just wrote yeah. Ronnie. customized cars. Yeah, my, I'm. But um, yeah, she's very thoughtful like that. She'll just, she'll just say people's name and just start talking. Oh, I miss this person, you know. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, hey, that's very nice. Talking Joe. about customizing cars, you had a picture of your garage the other day on Facebook, but I didn't see a '34 Cadillac in there. Uh, uh, it's at my friend's shop. We're putting uh, exhaust in all the, the tranny lines. The tranny cooler lines, the fuel lines, everything. So we're getting ready to start it up. So it's pretty exciting. I've got to mix my nice. cream again. My last build of my life, I think. After yeah. that, I'm going to retire. <laughs> Just type it. It's a long process. So. Mm. My nephew. Is that a Tom Brady retirement? Yeah. Yeah. Until I, that's what I did with this one. I, I said no more big projects like this. And then here I am looking in the interior of this 34 Cadillac and just seeing like the frame and the, and the ground and I'm like, oh my God, there we go again. What are you saying, Jeff? Yeah, my, my nephew uh, just reprocessed. Uh, he had two old cars. They were for uh, Saab Sonnets. Mm. You know those are? Sonnet 3, and he had two of them. Wow. They were great. They were, and he built one out of the two. Mm. And uh, I was always very hot to trot on this car, mm -hmm. and because uh, I used to have a lot of subs. But anyway, so you stole it? Yeah, no, yeah, I went in there and I saw it. He had it in Delaware, and you know what? <clears throat> I'm too old for having little toys. <laughs> yeah. Was it was it one of the regular subs or a good natured uh, sob? No, it, it was just a, a a two seater. I'll try yeah. that joke again. It's yeah, it did, I didn't get it. But. Was it a was it a regular sob or a good natured sob? Ah, it was a it was a very okay. Anyway, car. it wasn't worth. If you got a if you got a diagram them, they aren't worth telling. I know. Yeah, it's, I know. It, it I wish I wish uh, Alan would realize that. But anyway, um, where are we? Oh, I don't like sobs. Okay, now you know. Okay, so you don't want it. Uh, I was going to no. put your name Sonic down. Sonic 3 was oh, one of the you, coolest Jeff. cars. It, it was so futuristic for its time. What? Yes, it was. What car? Yeah. They're, they're neat little cars, that, that model, the Saab. And they were fast, and they were fun to drive. Mm -hmm. Cross in your will when you go to give that to somebody. Oh, there was nothing more futuristic than, say, a, 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 nothing more futuristic than a Nash Rambler. There yeah. you go. Yeah, they were. Well, didn't you want a DeLorean at one time? No. That's because that's the rebate was in the trunk. No, uh, yeah. I thought I thought you wanted a DeLorean. No. Uh, no? Now you got Coke from DeLorean. Right. That was my yeah. point. That's what Rebate's in the trunk. Now, that was a pretty futuristic car. Oh, yeah. Oh, the DeLorean? Yeah. 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 No, I mean, that was a, that was, I, you know, I think he got, I think he got screwed. 
if you want my opinion. Yeah, you know they set them up because uh, <laughs> big, uh, big uh, uh, General Motors and Ford. Well, were, the problem uh, was when he went to Ireland and tried to get them built there. That was the big problem. You know why is that? Because there was because it, deals. as they called it the uh, what do they call it? They didn't call it the war in in Northern Ireland. They called it the condition or the something like that. Yeah. Hmm. Was this at the time when the Catholics and the Irish were oh, fighting? Oh, yeah, them? yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was not the time to start a car company in Ireland. Although Ireland was making it very uh, good for businesses to, to be there. there was, they were giving tax incentives. They were <clears throat> giving all sorts of things to, to bring industry to Ireland. Well, that's, why, that's why he went, but it was a bad idea. Yeah. You know. And, uh, you know, you ever hear of a car called the Bricklin? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, vaguely, uh, the yeah. guy, one. yeah, the guy who uh, Bricklin, I did an estimate for his son, and uh, for his floor, he, he lives in Walnut God, Creek. you know, you know, I never thought that flooring was such an exciting business. Exciting, and and, and he gave me a Bricklin brochure, and and his father actually brought the Yugo. First, he brought the Subaru to the United States back in the '60s. And then he brought the uh, the Bricklin. He made that, and it flopped. And then he brought the uh, Yugo, and that was a big flop. But uh, the, the Bricklin, the guy uh, you know who started Bricklin Motor Company, was mm -hmm. responsible for the yeah. Subaru and Joe Subaru. Remember those commercials? You know? Yeah. No. Or my time. I remember. But Joe is it Izutsu. That's it. Not Joe Subaru. Joe Izuzu. Okay, everybody so have a drink. Everybody, 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 drink. everybody, it's a, Take a it's drink. drink time. Yeah. Joe, Joe Izuzu, not Joe Subaru. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. I can't. Everybody put your glass out. I'm buying. That's oh. right. Everybody hey, have Alex, yeah. have you ever put your green screen up and forgot to put the little legs on that, uh, you know, spin the legs around and then the screen falls down? Oh, no. Never. No? Never. Uh, I, I that screen I do it all the time I I put the screen up and then all of a sudden oh, the legs are all the legs are always out even uh, when I put it back here I yeah. stick it in a way that it, the legs are still out you and know. you want this guy to sell you carpet <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, yeah. Nah, tonight the the screen fell over because uh, I forgot to put the legs out you know I tilt it up against the wall and I put the legs down no, you got to put the legs out so they balance, and they balance yeah. just fine. This thing doesn't move. Do you see it moving? No. Huh? Right? You know. So. It, it, wasn't that an earthquake? No. The, you could, you know, I can make this go like this like crazy, and you won't ever notice it because it's just the green. That's Don't all. you get yeah. a draft on your back with that air conditioner running? Hmm? Don't you get a draft on your neck with that air conditioner what, running? What air conditioning? The, the one in the picture. The one in the picture. I can't point to it. Oh, that air conditioner. By the way, that'll be gone because he's taking that air conditioner. Yeah. It's like 20, 20 years old. 75 grand and you got to give him the air conditioner? Oh my what, what? He wants the air conditioner. And we don't what mind kind of mumser him. is this guy? We don't mind him yeah, taking really? it because during the summer, we never t use it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. I've Phil and I know somebody like that who lives in Vacaville, California. He would he would come and collect his old 20-year-old air conditioner. Yeah, I mean, this this air conditioner is 18 years old. Oh my Can't get refrigerant for it anymore. Oh, looks like it's going to fall out the window. Yeah, that's what I was hoping to watch it fall. No, here in New York, it's the law. They have to, the apartment house puts in these, these brackets that go out so they yeah. can't, you know, the thing can't fall. You know, plus it's screwed into the window there. But I'll be happy to get those windows closed because every time we hire somebody to go out and clean the windows for us, mm -hmm. we can't get those windows clean because the air conditioner's in there, so the window's up a certain level, and the in, yeah. what's in between we can't get clean. So, so how do they how do they clean your windows? You're on the eighth floor. Mm -hmm. Do they hang uh, uh, scaffolding or do they? <laughs> Does the guy go out on the ledge and somebody yells jump? No, there's there is a uh, uh, on each window. Yeah. There are these hooks, hooks, these places to put hooks, mm -hmm. and uh, there's one on each window. What, what, there are two on each window. 
And then he on just a, he just moves from one to the other and hooks the on thing. On a hundred and four year old building, you trust those hooks? Oh yeah, those hooks are they're they're part of the building. Yeah. Phil, if you if you like, we not. can get you set up to try it sometime. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're part of the building. I, I can't. They're well, no I, longer part I, of the I building. I can't. I can't watch the guy do it. It scares the crap out of me. Yeah, I would imagine. You know. I mean, it really does. So it's hard. You're, you're, the, the landlord doesn't clean the outside of the windows. No, no. We're that not, would be a good photo, though. And by the you way, know, we're not. I, according I, to I, our I, lease, I, we're not supposed to. Yeah. But, wow. Really. But we do it anyway. Hell with mm. it. I mean, you know, you know uh, in a lot of those older buildings, they had the windows set up that they were on a pivot, so you could oh, turn pivot. them. And clean them and then turn them back. Well, they yeah. actually they were on a pivot that was went this way. Yeah. Ah. But no, no more, no yeah. more. Not yeah. on these. This, this you got to remember this apartment house is a hundred and twenty two years old. Wow. <laughs> you know what do you expect? You know. So I mean we're we're living with a hundred and twenty two year old apartment here. It's, you know. Yeah. Uh, you, you mentioned something, um, I believe Charlie brought it up, and then he was so nicely uh, interrupted by either Phil or Alan. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and he was talking about Tom Brady. Uh, boy, that was fast, wasn't it? <laughs> yep. What did, what did he, he do? Did the money? No, what did he do? Wake up and. Oh, he retired and went back to work. Twenty-two million dollars was too much to turn down, huh? Yeah, I guess so. But I mean, I, I don't uh, get that. I mean, that's chump change. No, but I, I think he. No, it was twenty-five million, from what I heard. Yeah. Oh, chump change for Tony, but not for this guy. Right. For twenty-five million, a lot of us, we all of us could go together. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, he. Uh, I think he just uh, woke up one morning and just said, uh, "I quit." Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna miss not playing next season. So, yeah, yeah, he's competitive, and what's he gonna do after football? Isn't he like 40 years old? Right? He's 44. 44. He, can, 40. he can do the same kind of stuff that uh, a lot of other athletes do. They start charities. They uh, they help a lot of people. Who who is the guy that owns all those theaters in Harlem? He was a basketball Magic player. Johnson. Magic, Magic Johnson. Johnson. Look what he does. I mean, he, he does all sorts of things for business, for people, uh, for his community. Uh, you know, why couldn't... Uh, we saw it as a good business opportunity, Phil. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe he could join Gabnet. What? <laughs> he could go on Gabnet. Gabnet, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm San Francisco. Tom Brady? <laughs> yeah, why not? We need somebody to do the sports in, right? That's no, we got a sports guy. Yeah. <laughs> off, oh, yeah, offer, right. offer him a show, Alex. That's Send right. him a message and say, hey, I have a show from, you know, from 9 to 10, if you'd like it. <laughs> if you'd like week. to have a live show Talk every night, work. I'll set you up and you can do the show. Yeah. yeah. And just think, even if he loses every game, he still goes home to Giselle. That's uh, right. That's that, right. That's a tough life, man. Yeah. yeah. And counting those pennies, twenty-five million of them, huh? Yeah. What he made over his lifetime? Does anybody know? What's it? Uh, Income-wise. Uh, oh, bro. He's he's like he's like Jordan. You know, those guys make more money on endorsements than anything. He does a lot. Of, he does so many commercials. He's doing so many. Things. I mean, you look at Serena now. Look at see all the ads she's doing. Yeah. You know. I have a, I have a phone call from downstairs. See how lazy you are now. What? What'd you do? Lock the door? Yeah, but don't okay, well, let's, let's listen to his call. Hi, babe. Sam, do you want to eat up or have a Oh, okay. Yeah, can I stop by the room in 20 minutes? Oh, he's going to get lucky. We're, 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 we're almost done with the show. Bye. He's already lucky. Take videos. Okay, I love you. Eh, eh, eh. The she didn't say I, I love you back, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you said, least kissed her. <laughs> it rhymes with I love you. No, we, we have the the construction that we did, we have like one corner of the house 
and we extended that corner and it was supposed to be my car storage area mm-hmm. for all my parts and all the fenders and everything mm-hmm. and yeah it's it's the girls art room now <clears throat> but trust me i would rather have them all in the art room than in the house so i can have my tv up loud i was watching the warriors right now really loud so yeah that's fine. they can have their art room yeah but anyway it, it, so it, have you ever had a fall like this jeff you know never yet and i gotta tell you i'm always mm-hmm. cautious about it mm-hmm. yeah because well, i yeah you know yeah. i don't want it to happen to it, me well it'll happen uh i know it will but i'm I'm always working now, Ch- around. Charlie, with your with your neuropathy and with your yeah, that's one thing that Phil's got right is that you really have to be concentrating on making sure you lift your feet when you get to be our age. Yeah. Because otherwise you'll drag them, and then you do trip. Phil said that. Phil said yeah. that. And this- I'm always looking like where I'm going, where yeah. I might grab. I haven't on. gone out since that incident. Yeah. Yeah. I'm afraid to go out. Yeah. Yeah, my stepfather started having dementia and then after he passed away his wife told me yeah that he fell like 10 times in the last yeah. year mm. and, and the last time i was there with him yeah i would see you know going up to a curb you know like you know parking lot and then we went into whatever the restaurant and yeah up to the curb he would slow down and stop and yeah be really conscious of of the the curb and stuff i never yeah saw. just trying to don't get in trouble yeah you know yeah. i mean it, it's a problem and uh i know all these people my mother-in-law she's she falls uh she's only like uh, her house is like seven houses from us by the the way i hope all the young kids listening to this program right now are really enjoying this discussion well she's a youngster she's 93 or something my god 93 if i'm walking i'm happy yeah (laughs) anyway we just did construction and i made sure that our new staircase he has it all all plywood because we had to do some other structural stuff. I'm all good because when I get old, I want to do this one of those seats and you know it goes right up the uh, stairs. Oh, I have them. Oh, have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Alan had his hand up. I have a friend of mine who's got dementia and Alzheimer's. Oh, and his caretakers have had it's to not take me. Him. Well, actually, there's no such thing, Alan. Uh, dementia is a component of Alzheimer's. Okay. Alzheimer's well, is is an ex, a, a different version of dementia. It contains dementia, but it also includes a physical <clears throat> aspect. Uh, my my point was they had to take all the mirrors out of the house because he would think when he saw himself in the mirror that he he freaked out. It, it <clears throat> didn't know why this person was in his house. I freak yeah. out looking at myself in the mirror, and that's just age. Yeah, well, if he was know. a vampire, he wouldn't see himself. Yeah, yeah, that that Alzheimer's. My I mentioned this maybe once before. My best friend, his mom was one of those really outgoing moms and smiling and always. Right when she see you, she would just light up, and she she had that. And then um, I went to a Super Bowl party at my friend's house, and she was there. And I walked in, and by the by the outside there, <clears throat> she looked at me, and it was just the blank stare, you know. And my best Who friend, mom, it's like a blank stare, and just sent shivers up and down my spine because all of a sudden I realized. Man, she doesn't even know who I am. You know, that's yeah. one of the things I'm fearful of. You know, you can get a DNA test uh, to determine if you have a propensity for uh, uh, dementia or Alzheimer's, and uh, you know, I, I mean, it, it would be it would be a tough way to live. You know, they put you in a wheelchair, they stick you in front of a window, and once in a while they wipe the what, drool. What, do you, what are you worried about? Let's say they find out you have a propensity towards dementia. Sooner or later, you're going to forget. That's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it doesn't become a problem any longer. So, Alex, do you remember everything that you remembered? Like, how last would you year? know? No. 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 You know, I mean, it depends on what I have to remember. It's strange. It's selective. I mean, I'm, I, I'm having trouble remembering names and things like that. And then there are other things that you know went on 40 years ago and i i know every name you know mm. it's, it's join the club hmm? join yeah, the club. it's a short term memory and it could be stress uh you know uh it could be wednesday cuz he knows you he's got you on the show yeah it could be okay. yeah i like to forget these shows on thursday you know yeah. so. <laughs> so do we all <laughs> he forgets them by midnight 
Oh, God, my hand is killing me <clears throat> right now. Mm. Uh, this is going to, uh, uh, it's probably going to take a week or so to cl- yeah. n- not hurt any longer. And Alex, you're, you're not on any blood thinner or anything like that, right? No. But I just no. took an ibuprofen for this because. Mm. Yeah. yeah, my grandfather was on uh, Coumadin and he he almost fell like the last step. He grabbed onto the railing and cut himself. And yeah, man, I had to take care of him and he just started bleeding like crazy. Did you put part. the razor blades on the railing? No. Hey, Alex, uh, sure. did you ice it? Did, did I you took all that stuff. I've been icing it, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I had bleeding problems. I, oh, wow. oh, so you? you oh, are, yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm the survival of all of this stuff. And you're yeah. still out riding your bike, and I, yeah, yeah, I know. But I, I'll kill myself this one day. Yeah, yeah. But that's why not. Phil and I are the ones on the show that if something goes wrong, we can end it real quick. <laughs> not I. What do you mean yeah, you can end it real quick? Kaboom. Uh, you know, I always oh. thought about what would happen if I wasn't able to, uh, you know, to function. And uh, I think the best way is scuba diving. You go down to about 300 feet. You get this thing called nitrogen narcosis where you feel like you're high and everything is is wonderful. And yeah. then you drown. <laughs> and you never know the difference because you, you black out at about 180. Well, I, I there was this book that was put out by the, oh. uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the, uh, the organization that believed in suicide. Uh, Neptune. And, uh, no, not Neptune. No, that's not Neptune. That, oh, no, no, no. that, that, was, that, no. that was for... Bavorkian? The uh, Hemlock no. Society? The Hemlock yeah. Society. Yeah. And they put out a book on how to kill yourself. And, oh, uh, great. Yeah, no, but they wow. said the the worst way to do it is any way in which somebody will find you yeah because most they said that most suicides people do it in ways that they're trying to get even with other really? people and so they will do it in a way which whoever discovers them those people are going to be yeah. impacted yeah, so by it okay so they it. said you shouldn't do that that's just thoughtless. You should do it in a way that nobody else has to put up with it or find the body or whatever, or see a you know a head blown off or whatever. So they suggest that the best way to commit suicide was, as, as I'm about to mention to you, going up on a very wintry night to a high altitude without really heavy clothing on and freeze to death. The yeah, freezing, get that high. the yeah. freezing to death is a pleasant way to die. God, uh, uh, you I, get you uh, get a high, you get a high out of it, and then uh, you, you. Go. I have a I have a friend whose son-in-law committed suicide last week. By the way, is this a happy show for you? Folks? Yeah, right. getting uh, happier, right? Uh, a brilliant. This guy was brilliant. He he, uh, you know, he was an engineer. He he was he was a very smart guy. His wife had MS, who was the daughter of my friend. And uh, at, just out of the blue, he called my friend and he said, hey, I want to thank you. You've been very helpful uh, for us and our business. And I, I just want you to know we love you and we want to thank you. And then that night, he took an overdose of all her MS medicine and uh, died at 3 o'clock in the morning. He got a phone call. You know, he committed suicide. You know, it, it's it's odd. You have no idea what's going on in a person's mind. That uh, and you know, he wasn't uh, depressed. He well, wasn't. Well, no, but most people who commit suicide may be depressed prior to suicide, weeks prior to suicide. But as yeah. they approach the time they decide to commit suicide, they become very happy. Really, because really they've resolved what they're going to do, and so mm-hmm. they're no longer depressed about their life. Uh, and they're they're pleasantly happy with the decision they've made. Mm. So part of the problem is is I, I don't think I could ever shoot myself. Uh, one, it makes a big mess, but you, I could go to a field. I'll do it for you. Yeah, well, I got I get to pick the ammo though. <laughs> you get to pay for the ammo. <laughs> there you go. I, I well, I'll give you ammo. guys uh, the, the sad part of this when it, when I have the experience. Although it's not so much me, it's more my, my wife. Her father uh, uh, stopped job, stopped working, 
he had a real good job and all of that, but mm -hmm. you know, he was 65. And so he said, I'm retiring. And, and then he uh, didn't quite know, know what to do with his life. And, and the weirdest thing is his father had a gun and his father died of normal, natural stuff. And so they gave him the gun. And so Pam's father got depressed, doing nothing, I guess. And he took the gun in his bedroom and, and yeah. made the end. Yeah, well, you know something? I mean, uh, if, if he had lived today, he might not be dead because he could do a podcast. That's and, right. Yeah, he could have joined this show. He could have joined it's, everybody else. I'm about ready to kill myself just doing this podcast. Okay, so yeah, but you no. don't even have a sharp pencil. I I wonder. There's a lot of people that get guns and don't know how to handle them. Don't know how to be safe with them. And you never know. It could have been an accident, and the accident might have looked like suicide. He could have been because, cleaning the gun, and it could have still been well, loaded. It's believe not so me, much they're believe cleaning me, it, they're playing with it. Jeff knows what went on. Okay, Phil. Yeah. The answer was, this was not an accident. Yeah. This was a a decision. This was a decision. Uh, yeah. And to do it right so that that a half an hour from there her mother would his wife could come home to yeah, say he, hi. Um, he wasn't in the right mind space to, to, to go and take it somewhere. nobody is nobody yeah. is when they right. do that, that's what i'm saying and so yeah i wouldn't want to leave a mess for anybody my brains up against the wall or anything like that but but right, that's why i'm saying that it's a hostile act you know, because who's yes, going to be affected absolutely. by it? Not you. Yes. You're dead. The person who's going to be affected by it is the yeah, person who comes I, upon I the totally, body. I totally agree with you, Alex. I'm just saying. I, you I, know, so if, if you're going to kill choice, yourself, go to the top of a mountain and freeze. That's yeah. that's caring about other people. You know, when we were talking yeah. about this, we were saying that it's really a coward's way of uh, well, of, of dealing well, with Well, I've had people say that suicide is a hostile act. Yes, Tony. Yeah, you know, funny mm. you say that. A long time ago when I was small, my mother's, well, they were vaguely friends, the, la the lady across the street. Mm -hmm. The husband owned an air conditioning place. <clears throat> he lined up, I was like maybe seven at the time. He killed himself on April 1st. It was April Fool's Day, Gino. And I never, he used to take us to school. He had like a, he had like a truck. He used to pick up the, uh, what you call the air conditioners working on him. And then I said, oh, how come Gino's not going to take us? My mother never told me what happened. He wound up killing himself. And my mother said that she was cheating on him and he couldn't take it and he hung himself in the back. And so I don't know who found him. But it's like, would that be a form of mental illness? Because years later, my mother told me she was discussing it about Gina one time. You know, you talk about old neighbors when she was alive. She said his dad took his wife. That could be a form of mental illness, no? Can that be hereditary? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how suicide can run in a family. Because his, my mother said his dad took his life too. <clears throat> I never knew the father. I really knew if, if being a criminal can run in the family, maybe suicide can too. I think it's a mental well, it, It's the acceptance maybe too. If, if it's gone, done, been done to somebody in your family, you think that's an okay way to do it. No. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. yeah, when I never forget that day, Alex, when they, when he killed himself, it was April Fool's. And when they, somebody said that, my older brother says, oh, you're joking, right? Because we thought it was April Fool's. Who jokes like that? And she's no. He... And then I was like, what was going on? I really didn't put it together. I was too small until later. Mm. Who, uh, it was Devin Jackson. I, he was just sitting there not coming on, so I... That's Irv's uh, illegitimate brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, like here are that. a whole bunch of people trying to come in. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. Uh, last ten minutes or twelve minutes. Let yeah. him in. Let's no, get no, in. I'm not gonna let him in. Let's get some porn on there, right? I'm not gonna yeah. let him in. No. Uh, maybe it's suicide. <laughs> oh, now we got four of them. See, if I were to go uh, remove, Admit. remove, remove, uh, I would keep getting messages that would come across the screen here that people would see. But uh, let me let me just remove that one. Uh, don't report it to Zoom. See the sign, folks. See. Remove, oh, yeah, and then remove, and then don't report to Zoom. Okay, remove, and then remove, and don't report to Zoom. Remove, and then uh, remove. You're and not a tattletale? Don't report to Zoom. 
Uh, remove. Exactly. Okay, there they go. They're all gone. How come, you, how come you don't rat these guys out and report them to Zoom? Hey, Zoom, these guys are uh, trying to mess me up here. That's right. Yeah. They're Republicans. Get rid of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is, the problem, you know what the problem is? I put this, this uh, address up publicly. And so some people find it and then they pull this whole deal, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Why well, you don't have any callers because you you don't let them in? No, I I I know when I see people that are legitimate or seem like they might be legitimate, but when I see a bunch of foreign names up there, I don't think they're legitimate. You know. Uh, so there's a litmus test for getting on. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, one of these days, I might just their might, mother's name or something. Yeah, one day I might, one night I might just change the address here uh, yeah. on this account so that. You know, we freshen it up so that these yeah. jerks don't come along. I very seldom have a problem with this, you know. Don't you get a whole bunch of phone calls during the day all the time? From well, here's somebody people. who says iPhone. Yeah. Well, that's possible. A lot of people send text messages and it says sent from an iPhone or sent from a Verizon phone. Or... I get a bunch of um, Skype phone calls all you know five or six a day some yeah it was some young girl calling. It, it, it's really phil calling you yeah well you know you i have mean, to remember how to nice use picture, Skype. Phil. nice picture though hey. oh, okay yeah there you go <laughs> yeah. if i look at the phone number and i don't get a good reasonable connection i just go delete it, i'm it, to the point now that i don't even answer the phone if I don't know who it is, yeah. and, you know, uh, or if it's a hidden number, right. I, I'm even thinking about leaving in the outgoing message. Hey, if, if I don't recognize your number, please leave a message and I'll call you back. You well, know, that's a good choice. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking of starting to answering. I have nothing to do with my life. Right. I, I'm, I'm bored. <laughs> I'm bored and I have nothing to do with my life. So you new friend. So you can do you can do foreign of foreign phone porn he used can to. i can i finish what i was going to say yes is yes, is, is that permissible thank you uh, uh uh i just think i should start spending more time with these robocalls like when they say do you want to talk to somebody about your car and its insurance and so on yeah sure put them on and then waste this guy's time for like a half hour because i got nothing else to do right He's not wasting my time. I want to waste his. He wasted my time enough just by calling. Okay? Hey, make you him, know. Make him we, mail you a packet, and that'll cost him money. Yes. Right. <laughs> you know, all our lives, we always wanted a little bit of free time to do nothing. Now that you have the ability and the time to do nothing, you don't want to do nothing. You know, you think about it. You know, all, all I want to do is have a break. From what I'm doing, yeah. and 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 veg out. Well, the end nothing. of this month, Marjorie is not really going to be working much anymore. Yeah. She's being paid a quarter of her salary to not work for the next two years. Okay, and if they Whoa. need her, they might call her. All right. Okay. So outside of the fact that I'm going to have to now pimp her out, uh, <laughs> that's a joke, folks. Uh, <laughs> Because hey, you had to tell us that in, in, a, in, a, in a way for the last many years, I've been pimping her out because you've been going to this job every day and bringing uh, home the bus. It's called you were a Mac daddy. Yeah. Uh, Mac but, daddy. but, you know, we, we were figuring out how we're going to get along and we're going to get along fine. But um, uh, it, it, it she is the one that's going to go nuts. I'm sure after a while. probably have you clean the windows and save some money. Well, outside. already she's saying that she wants to go work out every day and she wants mm -hmm. to do this and she wants good, to do so that. Have time. Yeah. And I said, well, take, go with her. take my she'll example and do friends. absolutely nothing. You know, she says, well, you do something like four days a week. And I go, sure, you do the job. You call this doing something? You know, it's not really doing something. I can't something. keep up with my hey. shows. I would love to have time off. It, 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 what, retired. You can't keep up with your what? what? What do you? Because I'm spending. I got two phone calls during this show. People, umpires with questions. I got to work on when, you, when I get off. <laughs> That's a good deal. You you got it, but you you love doing this. You really love doing it. He just likes fondling. I absolutely calls. hate doing this. So you know. 
<laughs> oh boy. Uh, Is but, that true? No, uh, I, oh, I don't know. Some days, yes. Yeah. Okay. Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesdays. 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 Why it don't show up? <laughs> you know, uh, I thoroughly enjoy Mondays. You know. That's a fun show. Listen to that. Yeah, I yeah. Them, I thoroughly enjoy Mondays, and this show, uh, it's just that um, I wish we got more listeners. Got more viewers. You, you uh, get a lot of people on the Monday show. I watch it afterwards. Yeah, you know, almost every week. I watch Rob. Yeah, and we get a lot of people listening to it. This week it was a little slow, but uh, it, it's all the Monday people are listening to it over and over and over. That's how you get an account. <laughs> I see. It's fun. Hey. Yeah, uh, it's an easy listen. Let me put it that way. This yeah. wasn't a, a difficult listen either. This is kind of like what we do on that show. It's it, tonight's been kind of chatty and you know uh, talking about medical stuff and suicide and about suicide, and all the happy Tom things Brady in life, and... the happy positive things in life. Hey, how you if you could commit suicide, how would you do it? Listen to Gabnet <laughs> <laughs> with the air conditioner blowing this. on you. I wouldn't do that on Monday. What? You wouldn't commit suicide on Monday? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't that add that discussion. Right. Right. For for me, because my wife would be around, and now she's asleep. So. No, I say, oh yeah, when you, yeah, you can get away with stuff. Right. I can't commit suicide until I bowl a three hundred game. So I'm good for life. <laughs> what's what's that site that everybody goes to where the uh, People are selling their porn, iFan or what? something. Huh? Oh, only fans. Only <laughs> fans. That's yeah. it. Yeah, you can spend your time with that? all. Would you type it's in only fan. Site. Huh? There you go. There you go. Alex. It's a fun yeah. site, but it costs money. Yeah, it it's it's it not it free. It. You can and, go to Twitter and bounce around for free and see. And stuff. to me, the only po all porn should be free. Okay, Absolutely. that's my feeling about it. You know, they're yeah. having fun. Have you ever noticed huh? that they play that same song over and over on TikTok? You know, you, you, all of a sudden you walk, you're looking at Facebook, and then these TikTok things come up, and you flip one, and you flip another one, and they all go like, "Oh no, oh no!" That that that. Have you noticed that? No. No. Oh, oh no. Oh. Yeah, because, yeah. It's, it's because I same. watch I watch TikTok without the sound. Uh, yeah, I I don't put the sound on because I know it's got to be annoying sound. Yeah, it is. Plus, the stuff is all on a loop anyway. Right. So, you know, I mean, are there any TikTok videos that are longer than about thirty seconds? I don't think so. The one on the truckers in Canada. Oh yeah, just go to go to somebody's site. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But did, did you see? Sorry, I know we're running out of time. Did you see SNL? They had the whole thing about TikTok being yeah. like the, the news. Yes. You know, yeah. Yeah, Biden with all the TikTokers. Yeah. And maybe yeah. remind us of a caller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, well. Anyway. Hey, listen. Be hey, nice, Tony. I, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your new coffee, Tony. There's our hey, theme look. song. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, oh, Phil, me. thank you for sticking around. Appreciate it. Okay. My pleasure. Yeah. Uh, the same to you, Jeff. Great having you here tonight. Alan, always a pleasure. Charlie Wallace. Charlie Five Toes. How many do you have? Four. four? Oh, Charlie Four Toes. And that's a good mafia name. Yeah, that's his name. Oh. Yeah, that's his mafia name. And, of course, uh, uh, Tony and, and Brian Neary. And uh, thanks for the, for the uh, uh, swag. Brian, yeah. I appreciate it. No anyway, uh, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, and then fade to me. Okay, there they go, folks. Now let me just get rid of them so that uh, they don't have to uh, stick around. Anyway, that's it for tonight for us. Uh, we're here again uh, tomorrow night uh, um, at uh, ten thirty. Okay, it's uh, Eastern time. All right. Same time, same station. And as always, as I like to say, gee, I, if I sign off too fast here, I'll be awful early and Jack won't know what to do with that. But maybe I'll do it anyway. Uh, 
And we'll see you again tomorrow night, 1030, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? All right. And by the way, well, do I have to tell you to wear a mask or to get uh, vaccinated? Oh, get your fourth vaccination. I think they're getting ready to give us old people those. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow night. Bye-bye, everybody.